Hey guys, it's your boy Loza. Welcome back. Today we're looking at the Dark Magician Bestial, I hope I'm saying that right, deck. Uh, this is mainly based on Team Sam's list, so let's have a quick look. I've made some little changes, like I'm playing the One Apprentice since it's super searchable, and because of that, I'm playing a larger XYZ engine. I think this XYZ, the Wallow that Sam was playing, incredible card for this format. So yeah, I'm really keen to make this more, and Apprentice will help us do that. Obviously, Magician Soul Summoning out DMG will also be a level 6. So there's also the option for the Norito play into Ebon. Uh, and then you can potentially go into Zeus as well. So yeah, we've also got Beatrice since uh, all of the Beastials or Bistials uh, are level 6s. So that is really cool too. We can just go into Beatrice, send DM or DMG into the grave or Soul Servant just get draws. Like there's so many good reasons to play Beatrice. So we do love to see it. I played less links because of this, but I think it's overall worth it. If I change my mind, I'll change it back later. One main change I made was I put Skill Drain in the side with the other Floodgates, so you can see the side deck is basically all going first stuff and then a little bit of going second, um, which is probably not how it should be. It should probably be more going second stuff since this deck normally struggles with that. We're hoping that the Beast Duels will carry us along with Imperm. I chose Imperm because it's good going first or second. Uh, obviously, it's kind of better going second. I think you can just wait till your turn and use it on like an Appalooza and then play from there. Or if your opponent hits a choke point and you know that if you imperm them it's going to be good, obviously you just imperm them while they're playing their turn out. Overall though, I kind of want to fit ref in here, but I thought I'll, I'll stick to 9 beast duels for now and see how that goes. I've also added in Magicalized, which I'm not sure of yet, but I'm going to have it in as a Saki one of if you see it and you've got your grave lined up, great, you can make some big plays. Otherwise, yeah, you're not going to be doing too much with it. But yeah, it's, it's probably something that should come out of the list, but I had space for now, so we're going to try it out. Alright, other than that, it's pretty stock standard to Dark Magician and Sam's list, so let's jump into the ranked ladder right now. We're going to hit him with that rock. Yeah, love to see it. I believe we still take first. Okay, we have opened um, Mr. Mr. Bestial here, uh, and unfortunately we've opened my one of Magical Eyes, which doesn't do a lot. Yikes. This is a bit of a curse. You know what, we can go... Circle Chain Soul Servant, get to Dragoon here. I don't know if it's worth it. Is it double Dragoon? It is double Dragoon, but then we have no cards in hand, so... Oh, we'll have one. We'll have one card in hand. Anyway, this is the first time playing the deck, so, so far it's, um... It's, it's been alright. This hand is okay, I want to say. Um, I would love to draw into Rod. Is that gonna happen? Yeah, it is, actually. We are going to draw into Rod. Great! Because nothing's going to change the top of the deck here. Oh, I should go for Dragon Knight then. Yeah, oh, I should have gone for Dragon Knight. Mm. I forgot they were getting Rod here. It's really nice. Getting the whole setup. This is really good, actually. So far, so good. Um, yeah, Salvation is going to be our add here. Great. Yeah, just really wishing I made Dragon Knight, but you know what? Dragoon's going to be super oppressive too, so it's absolutely fine. Um, because I don't think we Magiclize here, because, like, we get a second Dragoon, but then what, right? But then what? We're better off linking away this Rod for Artemis, so it's in the grave. And I think we just pass it there. We save the Magiclize for next turn, or a Dragoon Negate. We can even use Rod as a Dragoon Negate, so I, I like this. I think we leave it here. Uh, unfortunately, we had to use our good friend here as a dragon fusion target, so we won't get to use him, but that's okay. Got the optimal DM board. We can't use this from Grave, can we? Nah, it's from here. Hate to see it, hate to see it. Uh, during the end phase, if this card's special summon... Oh, we didn't get to summon it. Yeah, that sucks. It does suck. We just didn't have an option to summon it, though. We just... It was, it was a bit of a brick hand, but we, we kind of fixed it. Uh, my opponent's activating Alice, Lady of Lament. Target a Lady in Grave Special Summoner. Uh, you can banish a trap from hand Special Summoner. This, this card is tributed or it's owner's possession. Destroyed at a fiend whose combined attack and defense equal to a game. So this gets the main one. This gets, what's her name? Uh, Lilith, Lady of Lament. So Alice will come out. Um... If this card is tributed, so does she tribute herself? How do you tribute this? I don't know. Well, Ties of the Brethren would work here. What happens if I remove the target of Ties of the Brethren? 
cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. Hmm. Do I care? I'm not sure. This seems good though. Seems good. So maybe I negate this. Kinda didn't want to give up Magicalize, but I think it's worth negating this. Could have been bait, and he might just have a way to tribute it now. This is a way to tribute it. We're gonna have to get rid of Lair. Or we probably just get rid of the monster, that would be even better. Summon out DM here. Defense mode, new chain, we're gonna trigger circle. Got rod in circle. Uh, we'll go circle chain link one, targeting her. Uh, rod chain link two. Probably gonna tribute the Dark Magician, to be honest. Keep the Artemis there. Should be alright. Unless he activates Numeral Network right now, uh, we're, we're chilling, I think. Discard this to add Lair. Okay, he can tribute a Dark draw. Okay, maybe we should have hit a Lair. Well, I'm pretty sure this Dragoon is getting tributed. Tribute one Dark Monster, draw a card. Or if you tributed a Dark Monster other than this card, you can add a Dark. Alright, well, goodbye, Dragoon. <laughs> It was nice knowing you. Uh, Lair lets him tribute our guys. Yep. Yep. There it goes. God damn, wish we had that magic class right about now. But, um, that's alright. We've got Rod to reoccur our turns. Maybe we should have Eternal Sold first so we could have discarded the Rod. Because, like, what do we need Rod for? We've got the setup. Maybe that was actually the play. Yeah. I'm starting to think discard Rod would have been a lot better. And we would have had Magicalized here. Make another Dragoon go pop pop. Oh, he is ending his turn here, so that's really nice. Attacking into Artemis. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Probably should have tributed it and left DM, but that's okay. We are in a point where we can take the life point damage. But it was probably just better to have DM in defense mode. Um, I think we have to out the Lair of Darkness here. That could be Trap Trick, which is a bit scary, but I, I don't care about it because Lord's revealed anyway, like nothing I can do. He gets a token here, two tokens actually, um, yeah, sure. Prep, cool, that's Magician Souls in bin, that's Soul Servant, that's two draws, that's nice. It's nice. Um, what's happening? He's thinking in draw phase, okay. So this is Trap Trick, I want to say, it is Trap Trick. I'm just going to go for Eternal Soul right here, in response to the trap trick. What is he going to set? Hopefully not Heavy Storm Duster. If it's Heavy Storm Duster, we are crying in the club. Ah, Tribune Monster 2, 5 or more. That would be relevant, but we're just going to get rid of Lair of Darkness. He's going to try to tribute the Dark Magician here, I'm calling it. He's going to try to activate this. Tributing the Dark Magician. Oh, does this work? Does, I thought this only protects set cards. Is that correct? It only protects set? I'm pretty sure that's how this works, right? Or maybe he's wanted the summon. Maybe he's like, 3k body. How does he get over it? So not chaining the trap card. That's interesting. Or is he? Is this part of the same chain? Well, it just came out though, so surely chain over? What? What's going on here? Oh, he got to set the trap trick. Okay. Interesting. Um, well, I guess the problem is, as soon as I make this DM leave the field, he'll be able to... Oh, no. Larry's gone. Larry's gone. I'm silly. Larry's gone. We're chilling. We're chilling. Alright. We can grab secrets here as well. That is another option that's very good. Um, secrets doesn't let us beat over this. We can clear the rest of the board, though, which is nice. Where's secrets? Oh, it's in the bin. Yeah, well, Soul Servant. Yeah, great. Fine. No worries. Soul Servant, go get it back. Um, yeah, because we used the turn one. We got prep. Oh, yeah, that's a dark. I'm so dumb. Um, so, all spell cards, destroy them. Oh, no, not my Soul Servant. That would be so bad. Um, I think I just let, the, let it die, right? I don't think I chain it. Oh, it gets rid of salvation too. Can I activate them? All spells and all cards they draw. 
of these cards destroy all of them. Okay, so I can still Soul Servant and get a draw here, which is fine. And he just tributed the monster I couldn't out, so... This is kind of all good, and now I can go in a dark and start clapping cheeks. So we may as well do that. Dark moment, he's put all the spells in the grave, so... Yeah, we got plenty. Can we just grab this? Thanks very much. <laughs> just get the 3k body. Thanks, bud. Do we even need access code at this point? Like, this is a very strong board. Uh, I guess I can go for my draw and see what it is. Draw one. Ah! Okay. I should have thought about that. I should have thought about that. If I draw a spell, it gets discarded. Right. Um... I guess we just go Selene access code, unfortunately. Oh, I lost my circle too. I didn't even think about that. That's annoying, but oh. Um, we can just use... Oh, we already have the Eternal Soul. I was going to say we can use this as Eternal Soul, but we kept that. It's the other one that we don't have. Oh, bring back Dragoon, but no um, negates, because no cards in hand and no pops. So, let's probably just bring back DM. Um, and then we're going to make I'm Dark for that extra pop. I think that gives us enough pops. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, we go access code to gain the 3k. And we'll go effect. Get rid of I'm Dark. Get rid of the trap. Go effect. Get rid of Artemis. Get rid of this. Effect, get rid of dark, get rid of this, and then we'll just swing into this as the last thing we do. Battle phase, boom, random layer of darkness deck, kind of cool. Should have super poly too, that'd be really nice, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know if he's got room, it might be in the side. Uh, we'll go main phase two, that's really all we've got. Probably shouldn't have used that soul servant till uh, the epidemic virus is over but that's okay he's he's top decking in this scenario against access code eternal soul he's gonna need like pot of desires pot of extravagance here oh that's actually a really good one as well lilith into trap trick oh no he's only got one trap trick left in the deck uh what does he go for here i'm not sure hmm what trap would be worth it here yeah I, I didn't think anything would be really worth it. It was a good top deck, though. It was. But, you know, he had no cards to play with. Uh, I'm guessing he's taking first. And you know what? Nibiru's not going to do anything here. Skill Drain going to do anything? No. He's just going to tribute my cards and his cards with the lair. Nothing really helps me here. Yeah. Whatever. Just... <laughs> We just d don't sight anything. Even the uh, the bestials don't really do much this game. So they're, they're kind of just chilling. This hand is actually really good as well. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is cool. So if this card is tributed... Okay. Oh, he's opened the ties of the brethren again. That's pretty good. It seems like the play. Uh, we got nothing to do about it. Oh, he's summoning the whole trio. Ah. Uh, do I summon this? I, I guess. Because I think this misses its effect now, and that's kind of the whole point, right? During the end phase of this turn, add a dragon. That's so good! I get to add Tamias. That's really cool. Alright, he gets Metaverse, which sucks. Uh, I'm gonna activate the trigger effect of Magna Mutt. I don't know how to say this guy's name. I'm gonna call it Pizza Hut. Uh, Pizza Hut effect to add Tamias in the end phase. Look at the cages on his hands. It's like Lava Golem cages. Very cool. Okay, so that's the combo with the uh, Lilith deck, or the Dark deck. You just uh, ties of the Brethren out all three, tribute this one, try to get the extra value on it. 
Um, so what about Loris, Lady of Lament? I'm pretty sure this one sucks. Target three or six of your normal traps. Place them. Three or six. That's a shit number. It should be up to three and up or up to... Just up to six. Uh, place them on the bottom of your deck, then draw one for every three placed if another monster is tributed. Or if a normal trap is sent to the grave by opponent's card effect, target one normal trap is sent. Interesting. It's just add to Myers, right? It's just add to Myers, which is freaking cool. We can even fuse using this and keep Tamias out. I don't think it matters. Metaverse into Lair. Yeah, this is where it should get scary, actually. Because this is a dark. <laughs> uh, even if it wasn't, it, it's a dark now. Uh, we need to get Circle, so it's it's real prep hours. Real preparation of rights hours. Not in the imperm columns, right? I always play in the imperm columns, so not doing that. Grab Illusion. We do have Call by the Grave, but that doesn't really help against the deck devastation traps and whatnot, unfortunately. But um, that's just how it be. Put a Magician Souls back on top. And we're going to try and normal that rod as soon as he's, um, he's getting his chance to respond. Look at your opponent's hand. Destroy all monsters 1500 or less. So that's just Magician Souls. He gets to tribute my dragon. Very annoying. Uh, losing Magician Souls is big. Oh, nothing we can do about it though, is there? Nope. Straight up nothing. Chain Impa. Like, that'll help. Bye, Magician Souls. Um, and he's gonna keep checking till the third turn of activation. That's annoying. Oh, this seemed like such a late game card, but I get it now. So when a trap is used, you target a trap in your grave and you set it. Okay. I think I have to imperm this. There's not a lot to imperm in this deck, so I may as well imperm this. It seems kind of lackluster, but this deck seems to just be about card advantage and control. Slow control, so if I can stop that, I think it's worth it. Um, so I could get to Magician Souls. No, I can't. I can't get to it. And even if I can, it just goes to the bin. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I need Circle to, like, hit Dark Magician. That's honestly the play. It's Circle. It hits Dark Magician. I summon to my Ascending Rod. I fuse. That's asking a lot. Uh, Secrets doesn't make anything... So I'm not playing any of the weird targets. Mm. This is a bit rough. A bit rough. It's just circle. It's circle and pray. There's not another play, unfortunately. Call by the Grave ended up being completely dead here. You hate to see it. Come on, add Dark Magician. The one time I want you to add Dark Magician. Come on, baby. Oh, damn it. Man, we really needed some Yugi Moto Heart of the Cards there. I'll take the Soul Servant though, and the Rod on top, yeah? Rod, or do we take the Dragon? Hmm, it's probably the Dragon, right? Or is it Rod? Well, in theory, we had Rod back. No, we had Rod back, so yeah, it's the Dragon. It's the Dragon, for sure. Um, I want to Tomias and summon this, but that's... I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to Artemis and get the rod back next turn. Killing a Lilith is kind of worth it though, is it not? And he's already used this for the turn. Mm, another option is I get rid of like Circle. Oh, getting rid of Illusion of Chaos can't be it. I can get rid of Artemis. Ah, uh, why did I even make it then? That was dumb. That was a bit dumb, but oh well. Very silly. Can't get the rod back now. Yeah. I don't know. I think I should have thought that through a lot more. But um, let's try and kill... I think Lilith is the bigger threat here. But this is a quick effect. Well, surely he just chains it. But then I get to re-declare, right? And I can chain call by. Oh, this is heaps good. 
This is really good. Okay, the card advantage is, is maybe going to work out. I think summoning Tamias was the play. Replay, replay rules, we love to see it. Um, I think, yeah, summoning Tamias was the play, linking into Artemis wasn't. I should have left it in the extra deck. And maybe putting Rod on top of the deck was the play as well. Good news is, we have outed all of his shit for now. And there's not too much he can do about it. Um, I guess I can manipulate my next draw, but I can't do Magician Souls, which is all I really want. I can draw into DM, but that doesn't help. No, we do this. Next turn we can go for Rod. Oh yeah, I have Illusion of Chaos, so we can go for Rod no matter what. Uh, we can leave the draw as a as the big Dragon Man, and then we can Soul Serve in a bit later. I think we just set this for now, but we leave it. We just leave it. Like, we don't need to flip it. Um, shit. <laughs> Where's Buster? Um, because, like, ideally, I want to Soul Servant and draw into Dark Magician. Like, no cap. Or, actually, oh, yeah, I get tokens. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Lair. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Uh, actually, Soul Servant put DM on top, draw DM, and then just fuse. Like, straight up. That's got to be the play. That's got to be the play. Wow, he's taking a lot of damage. God damn. Just ties the brethren and burned him. Yeah. Set card. Feeling pretty safe because he doesn't have the monsters. I know this is dark and he can tribute it, but um okay, well there we go. There are... What does this do as an activated effect? I don't know. End phase some Oh, so it's mandatory effect in the end phase to trigger. Interesting. Well, I guess he can pop Dragoon by tributing it. So I really need to summon the Dark Magician. Don't I? And I did forget to Soul Servant there. Whoops. Um, that was silly. That was very silly. Oh, we can make Dark the Dark Charmer here, though. That's, that's really good. It's really good. Um... Yeah, we do that, and we try to force the opponent to basically concede, right? I think that's the play. We try to force... Um, I don't even have to use Tamias. Fucking even better. Forgot I had two tokens. Like, oh, this Lair of Darkness is coming back to hurt him. Grab this. What you gonna do about a little bean sprout? Does he have any spells in the game? He's got one. Skill Drain. Interesting. Skill drain. Okay. Wait, don't we just kill him? <laughs> Let's go battle phase and say, see ya. Do I have a dragon fusion that's generic? Oh, if I had a generic fusion here. Oh, Secrets has to use the Dark Magician anyway. Um, I guess we do this anyway, though. Grab Apprentice here. Doesn't, doesn't add DM. Oh, if it added DM, but Skill Drain. I guess we just get Rod. Rod under Skill Drain, but still Rod. Put Illusion on top. This is a quick effect. This is a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. Damn it! Ah, oh, that would have been really nice. I guess we enter battle phase though, and if he somehow has a way to summon things, then we're, we're chilling, right? Alright, let's see. Let's see. I think I maybe should have summoned this, but I didn't want to risk it. Okay, he had nothing. Great! Alright, that game was against like some random deck, so we're gonna play again. Uh, Paper Gang. Fuck, should have been Rock Gang. Should have been Rock Gang. Wow, this hand does nothing. We drew both of our fusion cards. <laughs> we play them at one and we open both of them. Like, come on, man. Circle Up starts really nice, though, so that's cool. I'm, I'm chill with that. Oh god, it's this stupid deck. Oh, okay, it's the combination. 
I have not seen this deck in a hot format. God damn. I don't want to remember what, what hand to hand trap, what card to hand trap. I only got imperm anyway. Um, so this. Which one gives it invincibility? That's all that matters. It's like the brown bird. I forget which one. Increase attack defense. Is that, is that the right effect? Detach material. Add. Yeah, that's the effect you want. Alright, here we go. He's doing it. Target a Lycoris. Engrave attached to this. Okay. If you control him, also special summon this card. This summon from the hand. Special Lycoris from hand of grave. Mmm. So you have the right ones. Maybe not. I didn't... Yeah, that did not seem optimal. Some, something wrong happened there. Imagine we drew all three fusion cards. We're playing three and we drew all three. What the frick? Um, I think it's just a circle moment where we just play this and see what flips. I should put circles in these forms for impermanent. Wow. People really out here with zero brain. You ever ash circle gamers? Don't do that. Do not ash circle. It is bad. Yeah, we got, we've got the whole setup and we just don't have DM. This is the tragedy. Um, what does this one do? This card's sent to the grave. Yeah, this is the one that's useless, unfortunately. Uh, you can target a light or dark. Yeah, banish it. Cool. Not a lot we can do about that right now. But that's cool. Why did Tamias have to be level 8? Why couldn't he be 6 or 7 so he could do some cool shit? He's a, he's a bit of an asshole. This one protect itself or something? No? Man, this is such a bad turn 1. Or well, turn 2 technically, but this guy seemed to brick as well or misplay. One of the two, I'm not quite sure. But I kind of bricked. Didn't have a lot to do. Like, we play three prep, two illusion of chaos, three souls. We just. three rod. We just didn't find a way to get to Dark Magician. Like, are you joking? <laughs> Maybe I should have got that, because that just gave him another search. Yeah, that might have been very silly. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Vote this and a level 1 from hand. I got nothing to do about that. This is just Zeus. This is just me getting Zeus. Dios mio. This is bad. Okay. Surely we get to a Zeus moment this turn and I get clapped. Yeah, I'm probably going to verse some janky decks until I get a bit higher. But that's okay, because I'm playing a janky deck on the ladder as well, so... I, I can be a hater. Let's go! Ferejit. Well, this man should definitely get to his trap card now, so... This is a bit of a yikes. It's really hard with DM to play around that trap card, honestly. Without ref, this is a rough matchup. Like, every matchup's rough without ref, I swear. It's my number one John. I'm just like, damn, should've had ref. Um, okay, so he gets a banish here. What's he gonna go for? The monster. Nice. That's actually really shit considering I have this in hand. Like, <laughs> I was at least gonna be able to summon that. Not that it does too much, but it's better than whatever I got going on here. And he just cocked that. Oh, but it's a dark in the grave. Okay, that's great. Oh, but he'll probably... Oh, maybe not. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it'll be fine. I forgot that they're all different types. So when we get to the siding part, I'm gonna see goes and match and go. In you go! <laughs> Though these are all wind, but then they can't get to Zeus. So it's like, well, who cares? You can't get to Zeus. Like, I'm chilling. Yeah, this deck has many different types. Lots of winged beasts, though. Oh, he's targeting a banished card. Okay, he's bringing back this. That's not really ideal, but you know what? I, pff, there's nothing really to do about it. Was that banished? What? Wait, what? 
I want to banish special summoner. Oh, this was the discard. I see that was the discard. Uh, banishing two was it? Oh, that's gonna be game. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Looks like I should have. Um... Oh, your friend has no monsters in their grave. Well, that is mucho unfortunate. Looks like I should have used my little dragon friend here and banished this. Uh, yeah, I'm just dead. I'm uh, very dead here. I'm happy to press the surrender button. Make that a bit quicker. Let's put in the Gozens. Probably skill drain. Uh, yeah, skill drain. Yeah, why not? The Biru will work here, but it doesn't quite do what you want it to do. Plus, we're probably first here, so we're chilling. Um, I don't know. I don't really care about Imperm if we've got Skill Dream coming in. So we'll take that out, and we're going to go first. So I'm going to take out one of the shit Bistals, Beastials. This one seems like the shittest one. This one at least if it's sent to Grave Target, especially on Monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this one's definitely the shittest of them. Um, it's still DD Crow with 2,500 attacks, so I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying. I could always cut one prep down here as well, called by even. Uh, let's go Magicalize, because that's kind of a late game card, sec going second, Unga Bunga card. We don't really have the resources for it right now, and you know what, I'm kind of happy to just do another one of this. I think that's fine. And that's a good 6 for 6, and let's... Let's give it a whirl, take first, hopefully we see one of the floodgates, beautiful, we did, um, great, we've got prep with illusion of chaos, not ideal, but we can make a fusion with the secrets, um, yeah, should we go for rod, or nah, nah, I think it's souls, I think it's souls, um, let's probably put the illusion of chaos on top, yeah, illusion of chaos on top, Souls. I'm gonna summon out that DM. So send the souls to the grave and summon DM. Cool. Um. Yeah, I just don't think there's too much else to do. During the end phase, add a dragon. Oh, we can banish souls here. Actually, let's do that. Let's banish souls. Summon this. We can make Dragoon on his turn, and we can search out another dragon. I like this. This is good. So during the end phase, we get a search now. Oh, so we can just fuse now. Yeah, we can. I'm pretty sure we can just fuse now, and it's fine. It's like considered the effects going off, and we're all good. Have to go for Dragoon because we don't have anything else going on. Great. Set our skill drain. Great. Go to the end phase. Alright, let's add... Like, I want to add Timmy, but we've already got Dragoon. So let's go and add another Vice Tool. It can add itself, which is probably the better one to add, right? Just keep looping it. But I like the one this is sent from field to grave, target a special summon your mo uh, monster, your opponent control, send to grave. Like, that's nice. Send a grave, very nice, very nice. And he kind of looked like a moose, moose dragon, kind of cool. What does this feature do? Oh yes, look at the back, very nice. <laughs> Alright, Dragoon Skill Drain. You do love to see it. But, of course. Of course. <sighs> um, what's in my grave? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna negate this. I'm gonna negate this and he's gonna play another one and I'm gonna feel like an idiot. But we're gonna negate this. Here we go. The duster. Here comes the duster, baby. This deck's really lucky because it has like a thousand one card starters. Speaking of which, speaking of which, one card starter. Like, ideally I shouldn't negate Lightning Storm because it's like, okay, but... I think Skill Drain just wins this match anyway, so it's probably chill. This card is ridiculous. So I guess this is the part where I just say, No. I do not want to play. 
Dragoon does in fact lose his fat uh, damage boost, but like, what can we do about that? It's always the downside of playing Dragoon with Skill Drain, but I think it's still worth it overall. Is this a scoop? Has our boy entered the scoop phase? No. He's going to keep going. Um, I need to read that one. Or, or not, because the, the, log, the log is blank. The, oh, okay, there we go. Wait. He did not just reveal that. Apparently he did. No, Sapphire Swallow. What? What? I want to see Sapphire Swallow. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm going to have to Google Sapphire Swallow. Oh, I think it does that noise if you have to make a response, which is pretty nice. Special summon this card and one from your hand. Well, I can't do anything about that. Go for it. I was hoping it would say grave. Oh, there's none in the grave. I'm stupid. Well, this is annoying. He still gets to Zeus here, right? He just has to make two Xyz. One of them attacks and dies into Dragoon. And then he makes the second Zeus and he can at least swing into Dragoon next turn. Or like, stop himself from dying kind of thing. Oh no, he makes the Link 5. He's going for the Link 5, right? That would be the other play. Is he playing it? Oh, that works too, yeah. That works too, and then you just crash them, right? And then I can summon this guy. Yeehaw. Ah, uh, he gets kid effect. Wonderful. Wonderful. And yes, the effect that won't go off. Nice. Um... So when this hits the grave, he gets another effect. He gets to add whose level is less than or equal to the banished beast warriors. Oh, cool. So he gets nothing. Great. <clears throat> Nerval gets to add. You hate to see it. He has normaled already, though. I'm pretty sure. So I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Battle phase. We're going to crash. Yep. He's not going to get any value off this, luckily. Like, yes, he has Dragoon, but that's it. We're going to have a two for two card exchange here. So I don't want to chain this yet, because it will actually add nothing currently, and that's what I want. Um, he does have his grave filled up. Oh man, if he has the trap, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> it's probably, he's probably got it. I can't remember its name to... What it, I played that format, and I still can't remember its name. Okay, so I can summon both these guys right now, which is really nice. Get rid of this. These aren't quick effects, so if he has the trap, he's just gonna probably use it here. Nope, okay. He's still got one, two, three, four, five. Like, he's fine. As long as he has the trap, he is being chilling. Unfortunately. I can't do anything about that. Um, I think I hold this one just for now. Because I feel like that's the trap. And not that he gets a banish or anything, but like this isn't gonna kill him anyway, so. Oh, but now I don't kill him next turn. So maybe that was wrong. Maybe that was wrong. Because I probably should have summoned this, that way I'd be killing him next turn. Yeah, that was probably wrong. Oh well, we'll see what happens. What else would this be? A bluff? There's no way it's a bluff. It's gotta be the, the trap. But he would have used it, for sure, right? Special summon. So this card is special summon. You can special a dude from Hand or Grave. Oh, well, that's not happening. Uh, so normal summon here. Maybe he's waiting for the trap so he can make an, a double Xyzeus kind of thing. Maybe. He just needs to make two Xyz. Okay, well. I guess I could have killed him. 
Oh, cool, I can still kill him. Great. Oh, wait. Do I have enough? Yeah, I just have to get rid of something important. That's fine. I get rid of you. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Floodgates are good. Floodgates are good. Uh, we're going to put Imperm back in. And I guess Nibiru? <laughs> Just because, like, it doesn't help too much, but it... Why is, why is the deck all unordered? It doesn't help too much, but it helps, um... It just helps have a body that we can do something with and force an interaction out of the opponent before we commit to, like, trying to make Dragoon, so... I like that. I like that. Um, we're playing second, so we can fuck this off, too. We don't need skill drains. So we're trying to get seven cards out of the main here. I don't know if we can actually do it. Oh, no, we can. Yeah, we can. Easy. Um, was there something else we could take out? Like, because we could put in this boy, we could put in Magicalized. I don't mind Magicalized here, because it's good for pushing through. Good for pushing through. Um, could we just go down on one of these? Maybe. Maybe a prep. Might be worth chucking a prep. Maybe. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. I should hit swap. Whew, lucky I hit swap. Um, this hand makes Dragoon. We don't have any interaction though, so that's a bit of a yikes. We could draw Imperm for turn. That would be pretty good, but I don't think he actually puts a negate out. But we will see. Okay, he has bricked. He has bricked very badly. We have to make the most of this. So this can add Rod. Do we have the Master of Chaos OTK? If we add Circle. But we need to add Secrets. This can add Circle. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we have the OTK. Could have added a Apprentice as well, but I think it's fine. So I'm pretty sure this has to add Secrets. Secrets is good at the OTK. Uh, where do we get the Circle Magician Souls? Yep, 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 yep. It all makes sense, it all makes sense. Magician Souls. My brain feels like it's doing so much mathematics. Oh, I could have put the DM back on top of the deck, but it's, it's kind of fine. Let's do the other one. I like DM in hand with Tomias, actually, so I think it's fine to keep it. I think it's fine to keep it. Oh! I was like, shit, does he have a way to get rid of this DM? It would have been a bit of a worry, but we do have the secrets. Oh, shit! Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. We haven't outed this. Oh, I don't think it matters. I think I think we do enough damage that it doesn't matter. Because we still haven't summoned Tomias. I don't even think we fusion summon either. We just we just summon it. Just summon it and go battle phase. Yeah. We just go battle phase here. Yeah, for some reason, like, I couldn't get the circle. Yeah, I, I thought we could get the circle. So what I should have done was grab the circle with Rod, circle banish this, and then Soul Servant... Well, obviously Soul Servant would be able to grab secrets then. So it kind of fucked up that timing-wise, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it'll matter, but it's something I should fix going forward. Uh, we'll attack with Rod because it's the weakest. Surely this doesn't have 1600. Oh, actually, it might. Fuck. <laughs> well, luckily we have the Tamias because I think the Tamias fixes everything. Uh, he gets a search off this. Hopefully, is irrelevant. Should be. This is where Master of Chaos really shines. I love this. Oh, pretty sure we just win. Attack for 28. Unless my mathematics is way off, but we've labbed the Master of Chaos combo. This is like the only reason to play Master of Chaos. People talk about the board wipe and shit, and I'm just like, nah man. <laughs> Fuck the board wipe. The board wipe sucks. Like, we go into Dragoon here, but it's not game. Master of Chaos is legitimately like, yo, I got you. I, gi I give you game. You're chilling. You've been chilling. Yes, we would like to activate the effect. Bring back your boy. Oh, the DD Crow! 
He did have the DD Crow. No way. Oh, what the fuck? He actually had the out. He actually had the out. And now we can make Dragoon, but we won't have a card in our hand. Oh, uh, we haven't used Soul Servant's Draw yet, have we? No. Maybe I should have done that. Oh well. Oh well, it's banished, so I can't. Uh, well, I guess we fuse, and then that'll fix everything. You got the effect Veiler too? What's going on, Chief? Uh, well, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely not Dragon Knight. We have nothing set up. Oh, fuck. This guy can totally play now. Now that he's got his search. This is so bad. Oh, I can't believe we had the OTK. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Shame we can't do anything. Ugh. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. You're one use. You're one use. You came out and you don't even get to fulfill your use. Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, well, unfortunately, that's it. There's no spell traps to activate. There's no point linking Rod away for Artemis. Um, we have to hope that one negate is enough. Quite frankly, it should not be against a five card hand. We know he was bricked up, but... Um, he should be fine now. Oh, this is so fucking good. Oh, I just have to negate this. I swear I have to negate this. I may be capping, but... This is just an XZ. I, I guess I use this guy's effect. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna mill a guy, right? Yeah, this effect is not the best. This would be the easy one to replace. Um, I don't know if we play Lubellion though. I don't know. Lubellion's expensive. <laughs> but I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I, I don't know what we send here either. I don't know. We send, oh, this is the best one. You probably don't send that one. But oh well. The Grey is at least set up for something. Magicalized. Draw Magicalized for turn. That's all we got. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be great. It's not going to be great at all. If this card is discarded. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Why couldn't it be when this card is discarded? Oh man, I'm so cut that we did the Master of Chaos play and they had the fucking DD Crow for it. Like, bruh. Wondering if I did it the other way around, it probably would have mattered. Yes, because we would have had... Uh, yeah, no, we would have had the damage. We would have had the damage, so if I didn't mess it up, we would have had it. We'll go back in the lab and lab it, but we had that. We had that, but I messed it up by not adding the circle first. I should have added the circle first. Oh, that was so silly. I was just like super hard stuck on getting secrets, but I could have got it later, so... Oh well. He could have DD Crowed the Dark Magician at any point though, so... Actually, yeah, he probably would have DD Crowed the Dark Magician there, if we went that path, right? Because we would have gone Souls. Oh, Rod grab Circle, play Circle. Souls try to summon DM. He would have DD crowed the DM there. So I guess we would have Tamias from there. I don't know. I don't know what we would have done from there. That would have been a hard line to play through, actually. It might have just been skipped to Tamias. And, um... What would we even send for the Tamias? Maybe the Rod send the Rod, summon the Tamias. Tomias, make Dragoon. It'd probably just be going to Dragoon, right? Unfortunately. Like, Dragoon is just not enough. Um, you really need something else, and we just didn't have something else. Obviously, if you have too much, if you have Circle, Eternal Soul, Dragonite's great, but... Well, Dragoon is gone. His whole hand is gone, but Dragoon is also gone, so that's a lot of our game plan gone. Ah, so when this does die, we get to add a spell from our grave to the hand, which is secrets. Wow. See what I mean? Like, this card is so underwhelming. Even even when it does its OTK, it, it's still a little underwhelming. Um, and yeah, this card being destroyed by battle or card effect, targeting a spell in grave, adding it back, like... It, Master of Chaos needed to be better, right? It needed to be better. 
Obviously, any fusion following Dragoon is gonna feel shit. Same as the Dragon Knight Champion, whatever the, the other new one. This this thing, it it's crap. It's nothing's gonna be as good as Dragoon, obviously. But oh my god, they they really ain't trying. At least this thing doesn't have like 4,800 attack or whatever. It's so stupid. Link three that can gain 48 attack. Oh, banish DM, yeah. Or puts it back into the deck. That's kind of even better. Oh, it's good for me, I guess, in a way. Ah, well, I went up playing. The, the game is over. The game is over. I get to add secrets back, and the, the game is done. Go pop, pop. Because he's got a wind and he's got an earth. Damn, you hate to see it. You really do hate to see it. Like, sticking around just in case he messes something up, but this is this is definitely a game. Oh, just surrender. I make it easy, I throw in the towel. Alright. Well, I'm still pretty happy with the list, but I can definitely see this card. I can definitely see this card coming out for any other beast deal that's good. So let's look at the other ones. So Lubellion seems good, <sighs> kinda, like you gotta tribute summon it by tributing one of the other ones, and then you can send it from hand or grave to add any of them though, so that's nice. But see, the, during the main phase place the branded spell trap, we have to play a branded engine then, and at that point, like, if I'm placing a, a branded spell trap, uh, I may as well be playing branded fusion, all the cool shit, alubas, etc. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at the other ones. So there's two ones coming out in the OCG. I don't know if we're gonna touch them, but let's have a look at them. So this is on my tributing two bestials. So this has to be someone by tributing two of them from hand or grave. Well, that's good, because this is the one you would send to the grave off uh, this idiot then. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, big stats, 3535. Three, all this card is summoned this way in the monster zone. Negate the effects of all face-up ritual. Just everything. So while this card is summoned this way and is in the monster zone, just negate all face-up ritual fusion, synchro XZ link. Cool. If this card leaves because of an opponent's effect, banish all face down cards in the extra deck. You banish all face down cards in the extra deck. Face up. So you raise the next hand face. Cool. Really interesting card. Looks like a boss fight out of Kingdom Hearts or some shit. Kingdom Hearts 2 end boss. We got this boy here, the Baldrake, a dark one. So targeted light or dark, banish it if you do summon this card. Great. Same yeah, same as all of them. If your opponent's special summons a ritual fusion synchro XE or link Tribute one other light or dark, target one of those monsters, banish it. Okay. It's alright. So this is a trap that is coming. Um, target a, that targets a beast deal and no other cards. Or when your opponent activates card effect in response to your beast deal's effect, target a light or dark in either grave, banish it. If you do negate that activated effect. Um, not worth the slot. During main phase, you control a beast deal, you contribute a dragon, target a card, you control, destroy during end phase, target a brand, continuous spell, you know, grave, place a face up. Probably not worth it either, is it? And then we've got regain. If a light or dark is banished, target one of those, place it on the bottom of the deck, and draw one. I like that, that's cool, that's cool. I like this too, once per turn of your opponent normals or specials, you can target a beast deal in grave, special summon it. This card's cool, but I, it makes me want to play more bestials then, so... I don't know. Is it buy still or bestial? I, I'm still a bit confused. Anyway, I'm enjoying this deck. I'm going to keep testing it, keep playing it. But yeah, you guys should definitely stick around, hit that subscribe and whatnot. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.